All right, so today we are going to be doing a series uh, rebuilding an e-commerce site and using a lot of no-code tools to, to do that. So uh, I have an e-commerce site that I built years ago in Webflow um, before the client first systems and everything. Uh, it's a personal project that I've done, so it's a little messy. So the goal today is to clean that up and go through converting this over to client first and also um, showing the new design direction as well. I'm not going to go over the whole design process because I've done that before some of the videos, but this is going to be mainly in Webflow and working with some of the no-code tools as we'll do later on the series since we have a member stack built into here and some other stuff integrated as well. So we'll go through that. But we're going to jump into the really meaty part of when going over what we have currently, what we're going to move to, and, and how we're going to fix a lot of the uh, issues here. And so I'm going to go and jump into Webflow. So first, we have our Webflow site here. Um, now, I mean, visually, it's I have no problems with it at all. Um, but there's some new direction that we want to take for marketing purposes, SEO purposes. And this also gives us a really good chance to really fix a lot of those issues as well on the structural back end side of things, um, rebuilding this system. And so uh, it's going to be a little bit more of an undertaking, but it's something that you might come across as a designer or if you already have a site, something you might want to think about uh, if you're running your business as well. But I mean, other than that, it's you know design responsive and all that fun stuff. So this thing is actually built using wizardry. I am getting away from wizardry mainly just for a little bit more accessibility purposes, I'm going to be using REMS instead of the VW. Um, that's the only reason if I wasn't rebuilding this, I would stick with wizardry. I mean, I don't really have any other issues with it and it's pretty fun. I'm going to be using client first here instead. So the main thing here is I did bring over the client first style guide system, but um, that might not have been the best way of bringing this stuff in uh, as of right now. So I may have made my work a little bit harder, um, but I do have, it's a little bit bigger of a site. So this is going to be a lot more work. Um, that's not just a couple of you know pages here. Now, a lot of my like styling and everything's kind of all over the place and uh, Originally, I didn't follow like um, a nice naming pattern, so stuff is kind of everywhere. So I really am aiming to fix that on this this design and clean all of that up. Now we do have our new Figma design right here. So here we are going to be redesigning it kind of like this uh, a little bit. Now I'm, I'm bringing in more of a standard navigation bar, um, no issues there, and. I think I have an idea of maybe having some sort of video in the back, if not a different photo, but that's just there for now for the design. Um, I'm going to be going with a little bit larger type. And I think for these headings, I might go all capital. So for the most part, the brand um, type is Poppins, and I don't have any issues with that now, but I think I like this all capital over the upper lower for a lot of this stuff, especially in the bolder type. So just design preference. Um, I am using some reading components here. So I'll be making some adjustments to those. I think uh, we are gonna have a video here as well. That still needs to be filmed. Uh, and then our blog section here too. So we'll, we'll have those here and then video content. So the YouTube video content, we're gonna have that in here too to look at. So this is gonna be the homepage and uh, there's a big emphasis on copy here. Uh, again, going over like a, a new marketing direction, SEO especially, something that wasn't considered before. Um, that's why a lot of this stuff is changing. So I do already have all of these assets already. Okay. So I got my reloom classes in here so I can start restyling the site, um, and getting rid of the old classes, but let me go ahead. And... Now I think I already have the symbol for, yep, I do. Let me double check the code here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and go back to the home section here. And let's test this out because I want to check, uh, let's do a div block and let's give it padding. Uh, um, padding vertical and padding medium maybe. Ah, uh, yes, it is working as it should now. 
So the order of which you bring those, um, bring the client first system in is pretty important. Okay, so now um, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of all of this here since pretty much this is no longer, uh, I can probably keep the footer for now. It needs to be under page wrapper. And let's get rid of main. And then I'm gonna get rid of this here. And let me double check if I have any code that I need here. Uh, so this is just styling stuff and then the other stuff here. Yeah, nope, that's it. So I can go ahead and get rid of this symbol as well. Oops, come on. Okay, so before we add any styling to this, it's gonna be pretty important that we bring on all the elements first because when we start styling them, it's gonna create duplicate classes and that's gonna be a real pain in the butt. So um, what I'm gonna do actually is start pulling our components from, or from Notion here. So we have nav bar five, so copy that. And then we will go here. So nav bar five, oops, copy that. And in the page wrapper is whenever we're going to add our nav bar. It says you rename three classes. So which ones did it rename? See, so it's already renaming stuff. That's pretty annoying. So the logo, this can change to our logo, which is, oop, I guess that one can work here, uh, but it does not need to be that big. Forty-five should be good. Now, the next thing I want to do is get rid of <clears throat> this here. This is all VW, so I'm going to go to one rem as our base font now. So rename this one. Rename this one, and I don't know why because I didn't. Hmm. Let's see where is button being used? Yeah, I didn't even style that. Oh, let's check that here. Okay, so let's try that. Um, let's do everything to reset all that. So that way these things don't get copied over here to reset. Oh, these are alternate. So ah, we're going to do these. Okay, button here. That one should be white. And button here should be white. Secondary. Be reset as well. There we go. So let's try that. Some even something as simple as messing with the like the text will switch your button types. So that button tertiary, we can reset that. Because let's check the original one here. These buttons. Yeah, so that should, well, yeah. Not entirely sure what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with that for a while. <clears throat> so I'll do button secondary, and then is button small. And then I remove, and we'll do button, and then is button small. So you, these are the same. Why is that? So that one's transparent with black outlines and white text. Okay, so when I go through and start styling these, I'll, I'll fix that, but that's fine. So these are all fine for now, and anything else get restyled? Okay, no, that's good. So we're gonna go back to Figma, and we're going to get our header here. So this is header 30. So what I'm going to do is go back here to Relum, header 30. Copy that. See, now here, everything's starting to restyle again. This is the annoying part. So 
margin bottom two. I haven't even changed the margins. <clears throat> okay, now for now, we're just gonna go ahead and start bringing everything in and we'll go ahead and have to fix the all the styling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and speed through this. Okay, now that we got all the real components into the site, we're gonna go ahead and start um, styling this for now. So what we want to do is start making it look like our Figma document, which I have open on the other monitor here. So I'm gonna start styling all of this. Uh, but I, what I wanna do actually is go back to my style guide and I need to start cleaning all of these up. So I'm gonna to refer to how it looks on here. So we got 3.5 rims. So on heading one, all headings, we have three point, oops. Five rim. I think we got three rim. Here we got 2.5 rim. This one we got probably two rim. Yep, two rim. Now our standard ones, I'm going to leave them uh, medium actually. Now the reason why is because these ones. The blank ones I'm gonna leave in upper lowercase. And then all the ones I want all caps, I'm gonna leave as all caps. All right, now paragraphs. So paragraphs need to be fixed as well as our standard paragraph is gonna be one rem. So all paragraphs, one rem, okay. And then we, here we got all quotes. And we're gonna have one rem as well with 1.3, oh, there we go. All paragraphs here, perfect. One rem, one rem. Cool, text size large, that's working. Uh, working, regular, small, tiny. Okay, the bottom of this, let's see here. Paragraphs are all zero rem, no paragraphs. Zero. There we go. As that came from here. Perfect. Six weights. All of this works. I don't have a light in there. Okay. Making sure these are all good. Okay. Now everything here is as it should be. Now our buttons are going to change as well. So our text color will remain white, but our background is going to be orange. Secondary uh, will actually be not black, but orange here. Okay. And then tertiary is white. There we go. And alternate will be that. Button with icon, great. Okay. So our radio will also need to be Orange here, let's do two pixels. Checkbox, orange with two pixels. Okay, I think everything is fixed and hopefully we should not have many issues here. Let's go back to home. So there's a lot that's gonna have to be changing here. And this is gonna, again, something that's gonna be done over time. So none of this will be posted just yet, but we do need to build our new content system here. So we are going to have, first one is going to be home. And then we're gonna have, oops, coffee, subscriptions, and then think contents. Okay, so it's important to note why I'm even doing this really in the first place. So first thing you really wanna do when you're migrating a site, especially like this, honestly, most cases it might be better to start over from scratch and then rebuild everything. Since I have a lot of integrations already in here, I'm going to just build on top of it again. Now the goal here, really like any e-commerce site, is to try to make as powerful as an e-commerce site as possible. Really, I wanna come at this more from a minimalist standpoint, uh, try to keep more minimal design, focus a little bit more on type. 
So right now it's pretty, pretty bare bones and basic. And over time I'll start styling a little bit more. Um, but for the most part, I think getting the point across conversions are what's important for something like this right now and the purpose of why I'm doing this. So I like taking you all through real, real projects and real scenarios and how something like this is going to work with all the data, considering everything when something's being used in real life. Now, this may not be the best way of doing this since this is my first time migrating a site this large, especially every other scenario. I've just been fortunate enough to rebuild it or been able to rebuild it, but not in this case. So my wife and I started this project originally. Uh, it was just real fast, real scrappy. And at the time, I wasn't even that skilled at, web, at Webflow as, as I am now, as I've as I've gotten over the years. So a lot of the stuff has stayed messy and you'll find that'll happen when you're starting something up. Um, things are done kind of messily and then improved later on, especially whenever it's at a smaller scale. Um, but now that things like SEO and structure are, are going to be taken way more seriously, it needs to be rethought completely. Okay, so hopefully this video provided a little bit of insight on migrating a project. Now, this is the very first video in this series, meaning it's going to start to get more and more depth when it comes to a project like this, e-commerce, and integrating other no-code tools into your e-commerce workflow. So bringing in the new style guide was kind of tricky. I got to do that in a certain order to make sure the classes weren't all messed up. And this thing's going to be iterated on little by little. And so we'll get a homepage going and then start building on the rest of the site little by little as, as we get there. Now, one of the most important things to think about here before starting anything, getting into the designer is your copy, the marketing direction, what you want to say is your message. All that is all going to be very important before you even get to something like this, before you're even in this design phase. So you want to have your content as soon as you can have your copy and your messaging and strategy planned out as early as you can. Stay tuned in for the next one. Thank you for watching, sticking through this. Uh, it's got kind of a little bit slower in the beginning. It's going to be ramping up. So we'll be releasing more episodes for this e-commerce project.